Rain, rain, go away. Come back another day. It's raining this morning. It was raining all night. The little corner in the zipper, the, the mat that was outside, you can see where the dry spot is. It was pooling water, so we got a bunch of water in here, so I had to soak it up with this. I literally, like, we just woke up. Well, actually, we woke up a bit ago, but we've been lying around seeing if the rain was going to stop or at least slow down. <clears throat> and it has, so that's good. So if I look like a treat this morning, don't mind me, because I haven't brushed my hair, haven't done anything with it yet, so it is what it is right now. Um... So, yeah, just basically waiting. I'm gonna get up, brush, brush my teeth. Day five today. I'm gonna make sure everything's all nice and good in here. Dawn's already gone. As you can see, a little bit cloudy today. Not the greatest, but out of eight days, one day of rain, I guess, is okay. I just hope that it is only one day of rain. Oh no! Yeah, keep that closed. And then keep this closed because I'm getting water in here. So yeah, today's not going to be a very productive day if it keeps raining. I mean, I have rain pants and I have a rain jacket. So I mean, worst case scenario, I can just put that on and we can do whatever. Um, we have a tarp that we're going to set up over the fire or over the tent. We're not quite sure yet. So we're going to do that. And then start making some breakfast. So I guess I'll see you later. All right, well, see what this looks like this morning. Everything's wet. Clothes are obviously wet. <laughs> and I guess the lake is beautiful. Some nice fog. Oh well, time to make breakfast. Well, it's raining like a son of a bitch now. Look at that. Little tarp set up here. Woo! Tarp set up. We gotta get breakfast going. Friggin' rain, man. Oh well, it's enjoy the camping. Well, this is our new setup because the other one just wasn't working out. This will keep our tent a lot more protected. We can cook out front and everything anyways. Holy hell, it's just not letting up. So we're just going to grab everything we need and move it to the front of the tent. And then that's it. Well, things are looking up. Well, still a little bit misty, but the rain stopped for the most part. Took us a while, but we got a fire going. Dawn's hood got soaked, so we're just trying to dry it here. And then, yeah, don't know what we're going to do this afternoon. Maybe go fishing if the rain lets off. Maybe just play cards. I don't know, but I just thought I'd... Uh, Give the update since it's uh, not raining anymore. Lake's looking beautiful still. I hope the sun comes out at some point today because the bottom of our sleeping bags are wet, like at the, at the feet. But we'll get there. My man's a provider. I am closed still. Oh, and look what I did. Brand new rain jacket right near the fire. And I burnt a freaking hole in it. So now I'm going to have to repair that when I get home. It's lovely. Hmm. <laughs> See ladies, this is how you dry your clothes. So you dry your undies and your leggings. So hoist them up around the fire and just pray they don't burn. No, I'm just kidding. You just gotta place them far enough away, but yep. 
And if something burns, well, just don't bring your favorite clothes camping and then that'll solve everything. <laughs> He's still chopping. We got lots of wood though. We're gonna take a walk across, uh, a walk across the lake. We're gonna canoe across the lake and uh, go see what that 1.4 portage is like for tomorrow. And that'll give us something to do since we're probably not gonna fish because of the weather and everything, so. Ah, well. All right, catch you later. Doubt it. Oh, I can still feel heat. Well, we got back from our little adventure. Looks like tomorrow, like it's a 1.4 kilometer um, portage but it goes up like very steep but then it's all down so it's going to be like a cakewalk for us compared to like what we have been doing so that is excellent the Nipissing River looks beautiful I didn't bother bringing anything because why um before we left the stupid me put everything too close to the fire so check this out I burnt the crap out of my sports bra and out of my one sock. So if you are going to try your clothes by the fire, make sure you don't put them too close because yeah, this is garbage. And this is from Forever 21, which is no longer open. So that's kind of upsetting, but whatever. It's just clothes. I can always get more, right? So now we're just gonna start another fire. And to be honest, I don't know what the heck we're gonna do. So I guess we'll uh, pick you up some other time. You have one on, baby. You gonna do this one too? Sure. Start the hard end or the easy end? Easy. We'll flip it around then. Start at the hard end, actually. Okay. Chop and give me a break from sun. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Look at this beautiful mushroom. It's huge. It's got one underneath as well. Looks like table coral off of Subnautica. Anybody that plays that game will know what exactly what I'm talking about. It's on this log here. Isn't that awesome? Here, just for like a size comparison, look at my hand. Like compared to this mushroom. Absolutely ginormous. Might be the biggest one, one of the biggest, like probably second actually, that we've seen in this park. So red. It was full of bird shit. 
yesterday, so I didn't want to take a picture, but after it rained, now it's all pretty. So there you go. Well, it's a nice, calm evening on Nadine Lake on day five. I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's four loons out there hunting together. It's so nice. I just love loons. Yeah. We got fire. We got supper cooking. We're having breakfast for dinner tonight. Potatoes. Mmm, bacon and eggs. For din dins. Yes. Yeah. Catch you tomorrow, actually. Good morning. Day 6, 7.30 in the morning. We went to bed pretty early yesterday. Um, so yeah, we're just going to get up in a couple of minutes. Sleep in there. And we're going to make some breakfast. And then we're going to pack up. And then start our one portage of 1 1.4 that, that I was talking about yesterday. Just be pretty easy. And then we'll make it to the next campsite. So far, so good. I think last night was my best sleep, so that's good. And then, yeah, hopefully we'll get to do more fishing today. Something got into our worms yesterday, so we only have one thing of worms left. Maybe six worms left. The view from our tent, except flash is on so you can't really see. Yeah. All right. Good morning, it's day six, and uh, Dawn's just cleaning up the fishing stuff and getting it ready to go. We have oatmeal here, there, waiting to rock and roll. We got water boiling here, we got coffee, everything's good to go. We already have our packs right there. We already have our packs set up. The GoPro's dead, so I gotta use the phone, so... Not that you need 4K video for this anyways. And, uh, yeah, so all we have left to do now, shoot, all we have left to do now is uh, fold the tent. I already got all the pegs out, so we just got to fold the tent, take down the tarp, somehow attach it to my bag, and then we will be off for the 1.4. And then we got quite a ways down the Nipissing River to get to our campsite, so... We'll show you around once we get there, as well as a little bit of the river. All right, see you later. Well, we made it to the other end of the 1.4. Not too bad, not too bad. Slight downhill for us since we came this way. There's this little campsite here, I guess, if you get stuck. We have our canoe packed up. And it's uh, quite the incline here to get into the Nipissing River, as you can see. So we're just going to slide this down into the river like this since the sand is soft and not worry about carrying our packs all the way down there because holy what a steep incline it is down there and here's the Nipissing River absolutely gorgeous apparently this is very good for brook trout so I can't wait for that yeah not too bad of a landing up here but it's got a little bit of a run to get in there 
All right. I'm going to hop in and then we're going to get going. All right. Beautiful river. Nice and wide right now. Like, I don't even see the stump there. There's would be some brook or speckles because another, like, another little creek comes into here right here. Yeah. Some speckles underneath there. Well, we made it to our Long Marsh campsite. As you can see, beautiful Nipissing River. We're not staying here though. We decided we're gonna push on because the campsite's all right, but it's not the greatest. And I think we can see moose somewhere else. So I'll show you the campsite anyways, just so you can see what's happening. So here's the campsite. Got a little chain there, all here. But they're like the tent is either there or there, and it's not too great. And then I don't know if you guys can see the the campfire. Like the fireplace is really small. It's neat that it's got um, notches in the wood for us to sit though. But we just decided that it's not for us, so hopefully there will be a camp spot available. We haven't seen a soul in two days now, or all day yesterday, and then so far today, nobody. So I don't think any of the campsites further on down are going to be taken. So we're going to chance it, and we're going to go. This is the little entrance way to this campsite. I just heard that this particular campsite has like a high, high chance of seeing moose. So that's why I wanted to stay here. But I don't think the chance of seeing moose is worth uh, staying here. So we're going to have a quick break. We're going to pull out the solar charger. Now that the sun's out, try to charge up the GoPro so I can continue shooting in 4K later. Especially if we see a moose, I'd like, like some 4K video of that. So we're going to charge up, eat some lunch, and then we're going to push on. All right. See you later. All right, so this is the entrance to the 365. You saw a little bit of the whatever and then of the trail there. And then I'll show you the campsite that's on the other side. We're not, uh, we're not staying there either because it's not that great of a campsite either. So we're just going to push on. All right, let's grab the rest of our stuff. And... All right, so we made it to the other side. Just going to give you a quick... See, the view is nice. It's got a view of the river here. We're going to stop and fish for about an hour before we move on because it seems like a really good fishing hole. I'll show you in a minute. But uh, as you can see, this is the campsite here. Not the greatest. GoPro is still dead, so sorry, but... This is uh, the campsite here. I mean, it's all right. It's got a nice grassy area over there for the tent at least, but other than that, there's not much happening here. Like there's no wood, no anything. So we're gonna set up the fishing rods and then we're gonna come down here. Give me a moment. We're gonna fish this beauty right in here. I don't know if you guys can see, apparently there's another campsite on top of this sand thing over here, but I highly doubt it. It doesn't even look like there's anywhere to go in there. So I don't know, but yeah, so wish us luck. Hopefully we catch a nice fish to eat and yeah. Well, this is the entrance to that other campsite that I was confused about. Quite the shitty entrance, if you ask me. 
I guess you could walk down the narrow trail heading over to the main uh, where we are over there. But I just thought I'd show you guys this one as well. Pretty crappy campsite. You have to first get up that crappy entrance. And then, oh, I'm getting bit. Sorry for the shaky camera. I have to slap a mosquito. And then you have to walk up this trail. I guess the only good thing is you can leave your canoe back there. But you've got to walk up this trail. And another good thing is it's got the nicest mossy spot for your tent right here. But that's about the only bonus. Oh, as well as the view. The whole reason why I'm bringing you guys up here is because I came up here earlier. And what a fantastic view. See, this is the campsite and the pooper is back there. You can see the sign. Yeah, but look at this. This is absolutely amazing. The campsite is on top of this big sand uh, bar, sand dune here, which is why, but look at the view. Amazing. All right. Thought I'd just show you guys around and uh, I'm gonna head back. Phone and uh, GoPro are still charging. And then we're just fishing. I don't know if you could see Dawn over there. See him, the red shirt? That's where we currently are. And yeah, we're gonna be heading um, that way down the river. Obviously, because that's why we portaged is the rapids there. Yeah, so anyways, I guess I'll show you a bit of the river. As you guys can see, it's uh, pitch black outside right now. I'm just walking to get my pack because believe it or not, we just got back to, we actually not back, we just got to a campsite. Earlier I said we were pushing on. Well, we decided to push on from the next campsite to the next campsite. Well, guess what? The next campsite was taken. So we ended up having to do two more portages today to end up at uh, this final destination here. I can't show you around because obviously it's just way too dark. So yeah, I'm just going to grab my pack. We're going to set up the tent. We're not even going to unpack our bags or anything. We're just going to go straight to bed because holy crap. It's like quarter after 9, 9.30 right now we've been on the go since about nine this morning and we have officially done the whole Nipissing like our section of the Nipissing River in one day when it was supposed to take us a day and a half or two days or some of that so yeah congratulations to us I guess but so just gonna grab my my bag is down that hill there there's a freaking quite the hill to get down there the canoe is over there, so I'm going to get going so that way I can go to bed. All right, see you tomorrow morning. No fire or anything. See you later.